Sorry I'm late. Had a family emergency with, um... And this girl was his first love. Poor Chris. He was sobbing his eyes out when I abruptly left. Why, well, just thinking back on her makes everything all shimmery and distorted. I said the words Federal Express a suspicious number of times. There was only one thing I loved more than corporate branded content. You know how most guys want their girlfriends to look like a pissy bird? Well, I was living the dream. Give me a kiss, you time-obsessed beardless man who was unable to spear a fish with a sharpened stick. Remember all that stuff for later. I'll never forget that fateful day. Looking back, I never should have tried to do two fantasy football drafts while flying a plane. Damn it! Too bad I'm in an airplane and can only go straight into a storm and not over or around. And it was all over. If I wanted to make it back to my Helen, I'd need to find a way to survive. Oh, please be food. Please be food. Oh, thank God I'm saved! Peanut brittle! Ah! But then, I opened the most important package of all. My only friend on the island. Ugh. Character development. I was going nuts thinking about her. Oh, Helen. Oh, come on, get it together. Oh, almost Helen Hunt. Enough was enough. Mm, definitely not these footballs for Tom Brady. Straight to the bottom. I wonder. Ah! <laughs> two for two. Continue. Boy, you hoist a sail, then where did the wind go? Am I right? I just saw you take a dump in the ocean. I'm not really looking to chat. No drinking water and no food. Except... Nope, not this time. Yeah, you're no fun. Continue. No, Wilson! Why are you smiling, honey? Oh, I used to bone that volleyball. Apparently, I was picked up by some cargo ship. But then, wouldn't you know it? The ship got taken over by Somali pirates. Look at me. Look at me. After years and years away, it was finally time to see my Helen. I never stopped loving you. I'm sorry. I got back together with Paul Reiser. What? I was devastated. Helen was my first true love. The only woman I ever wanted. And I've literally never thought about her since. Well, that was a touching tale of first love, Quagmire. But they don't always have everything. Okay, I guess I'll be going last tonight. This was back in the early 60s. Anyway, this camp was highly renowned for offering exclusively clean dancing. Her name was Jennifer Schnoz, but there Jennifer was again, always with her nose pressed against the glass. It was time to make my move. Hey, do I know you? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jennifer. Well. Joe, come quick! It's Dancy! What's the matter? It's my jaw. It's very clicky. Do you uh, want to keep the TMJ? I'm single, I'm poor, I work in a Jewish camp for tips. But Dancy, what about the big talent show? After I get my jaw surgery, I'm going to be in mouth recovery, Joe. Literally any one of these other women we just saw dancing? I'll do it. All right, I'll give you a shot. Is that I was talking about! Actually, I'm so I like how you're at least 18 years old. We were falling in love, but then... Joe, come quick! It's Dancy! <gasps> Joe, this is serious. My whole jaw is messed up. I don't understand. We sent you to the best cigarette smoking surgeon we know. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch! So what I'm doing right here is I'm thinking about Jennifer and how she's like the wind. I mean, where do I even start? Basically, they're like two peas in a pod, those two. In what precise way is she like the wind? Well, um, like if you picture my heart. The show started late because the grandma bragging had gone a bit long. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed the dinner of leftovers from last year's dinner. Nobody puts legal adult in a corner. Well, unfortunately, this was the star of David Dine. For our big finale, we're gonna dance to a song written in 1985. We had to dance to this song about female masturbation. I've had, closed parentheses, the time of my life. And everyone was cheering for us. Yes, that night we had sex. I got her pregnant, and three weeks later, she had an abortion. I mean, jaw fixing. I remember my first love. It was 1989. Harry meets a girl, Bigfoot? Count me in! Well, that's what I thought, anyway. <gasps> 
You know how I always wanted to marry a woman who looks like the full house baby? Ha <laughs> ha, that guy's the first person to ever say that. Wow, you're hilarious. From the first time I saw Meg Ryan pout in When Harry Met Sally, nothing better than movie theater popcorn. Some for me, some for the cleaning guy. He's about to do a 20-minute song parody of the 1988 Oscar nominees. Here I am, moonstruck in the middle with you. It's a 1980s movie, so there's lots and lots of 1940s music. What's that guy doing? He's ruining the movie. Joe, come quick. It's dancing. Oh, come on, Meg Ryan. It's not about that. Yeah, you, you gotta stop doing this, Peter. That day, we talked and talked. Hey, thanks for walking me around in this watered-down Woody Allen movie. Can a man and a woman just be friends without the sex? But, like, the fourth or fifth friend you call. What do you say, Peter? Friends? Friends with benefits? Benefits? No. Me and Meg Ryan had a special connection. I even followed her into other movies. Which is an actual plot point from the film. Don't worry, it's still just the 1990s. See something? Say nothing. That's the 1990s New York way. Hey. Hey. <sighs> also, I DM'd her on my eight-inch thick laptop. It seemed like we'd be just friends forever. But then came the movie that changed everything. She's been my best friend, and I was always afraid of damaging that because I don't want to risk this connection. Shh, 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 shh. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Wake up, sir. I had just Pee Wee Hermaned myself in the theater and fell asleep. <laughs> and that's when my doctor said you can't drink and do Ambien. That's a wonderful story, Peter. I'm always happy just to listen and be here for you. Donna says hi. If it wasn't good enough to tell in one of the 88 episodes of your show, maybe it's not good enough for us. Could you guys laugh like I'm telling you a hilarious story? <laughs> see? I get a flashback, too. I don't see nothing shimmering. <laughs> <laughs>